On the border of Northern Ireland, the worries are clear. Wednesday night, people gathered at crossing points along the frontier to demand that politicians protect a peace that suddenly seems in jeopardy. Local activists carried signs insisting that negotiators remember the people of Northern Ireland as they thrash out a deal on Britain's departure from the European Union, which many fear could reignite tensions along the border. Extremely worried about what happens if there's a hard Brexit and there's, there's, a, there's a hard border, or if there's any dilution of the backstop that makes it possible in some way that they begin to erect a, a border or putting any border infrastructure back up again. 72-year-old Eugene Reevy was losing his voice in the cold, but he wanted to be here. Peace is personal for him. He lost three brothers to the Northern Ireland conflict, which claimed more than 3,500 lives over three decades. I suffered very, very badly with the loss of my three brothers in January 1976, and I don't want to see any more borders in Ireland. We've worked very, very hard over the last 20 years for the, for the do away with the borders. Reeve's brothers were killed when loyalists launched an unprovoked attack on their home in County Armagh. Violence racked the area for decades with scores of victims on both sides of the sectarian divide. Sometimes I come up here and I just sit here and just talk away and have a bit of a chat, you know. Well, I would be afraid of the violence starting again because the border has been going for years and centuries and there's always been trouble on that border. And... Uh, and if you put a British presence on it, there is certainly going to be shootings. During the Troubles, the rolling green hills of Armagh felt more like a prison. It was one of the most militarised areas in Western Europe, with watchtowers, foot patrols and cars stopped and searched on the way to school or church. Tony Carragher campaigned for demilitarisation in the 1990s and remembers the intrusions and humiliations. This is St Bridget's Primary School in Glass Drummond. And this is how low the helicopters would have flown over the schools. Like, you can see how low that is. Like, that's taken by a 400 millimeter zoom lens on my camera. Um, in my era, my age group, we all grew up through that, okay? We were used to it. But it's the young people that I would fear for the most because that would be um, a totally different experience for them. They're not used to that. So it's for them that I would be most fearful for. The battle for demilitarisation was won and stability was possible in part because both countries were member of the European Union. Britain and the EU have pledged to keep the border open after Brexit and Thursday's announcement of a new deal marks the first step to settling the matter. But if the UK Parliament fails to agree, people here fear the chaos of a no-deal exit. David Keaton, Associated Press in South Armagh, Northern Ireland.